Hey, and welcome back to uh, Earth Environment 375, where um, what we've been talking about for the last few weeks has been uh, the basics of data analysis and with a particular focus on regression. So we talked about the basic steps for uh, statistical modeling and how to do them in R, starting with hypothesis generation, exploratory data analysis, uh, univariate analyses, uh, checking for the collinearity among our covariates, building up to more complex models, performing some sort of model selection to choose between competing models, and then doing uh, model diagnostics and evaluation. Uh, we've started this with a focus on univariate regression, fitting to simple uh, linear models with one variable. And we moved up to linear models with multiple variables. Uh, we then moved on to more uh, advanced regression models dealing with things like polynomials and interaction terms, and then generalized linear models where we relax the assumption that the error was normal and, and entertained uh, different probability distributions such as the, the binomial and the Poisson. Um, uh, but we kind of took a lot for granted when we went through that. It just, these, you know, uh, Functions magically exist. The math underneath them magically exist. Um, and so I want to spend this lecture talking about uh, where this comes from and how we can use an understanding of where this comes from uh, to take control of our statistical models so we can uh, relax assumptions, uh, we can fit more complex models than just straight lines, and really kind of uh, dive deeper into data analysis. And this will set us up for, for more, more complex statistical models and eventually for uh, more process-based models. So the, the key to doing this, of bringing models and data together, uh, is a concept we introduced if, uh, before we dove into uh, linear models when we talked about the basics of probability theory, which is the idea of the likelihood. And so as a reminder, uh, the likelihood is an expression of the probability of the data we observe conditional on a specific model structure and choice of model parameters. So it's the probability of observing a given data point X conditional on parameter values theta. Um, and when we fit models to data, we're gonna rely, rely on what's called the likelihood principle. The idea that a parameter value is more likely than another if it is the one for which the data are more probable. So when I introduced likelihood, I, I started with this simple example. If I had two normal densities uh, with different means, one at zero, one at three, and I had a data point in the middle at 1.5, I could ask what's the probability of hypothesis one uh, having generated this data point on a specific mean and standard deviation, what's the probability of hypothesis two having generated that same data point under its choice of mean and standard deviation. And I could see that it was, not only was it more likely that hypothesis two generated this data point, uh, but it was about 2.7 times more likely because I could calculate the likelihood of these two individual hypotheses and then take their ratio to ca calculate the relative odds. So what we're gonna do next is kind of build on that to think about how we can leverage that idea of the likelihood uh, to evaluate a, a much wider range, a full continuum of possible hypotheses, and then ask, uh, which is the most likely hypothesis? What is the, the set of parameters that is going to give you the best match uh, between the model and the data? Thanks. <laughs> 